scientists are uh, warning us concerning their uh, fears of mass extinction after alarming scientific discovery concerning our oceans and seas and the algae blooms. Scientists say the threat of mass extinction is increasing after a worrying discovery paralleling the great dying that happened millions of years ago. New research suggests that chances of another mass extinction is becoming more likely after the scientists discovered the toxic algae bloom that thrived during the Great Dying. This was 251 million years ago, which destroyed almost 90% of life in the oceans and 70% of life on land as well. Algal blooms are found in rivers and lakes, and experts believe that they're an early indicator of an ecological disaster. It parallels the worst extinction event in Earth's history, they said. The researchers from Swedish Museum of Natural History, led by paleobotanist Chris Mays, says that the concentration of algal blooms during the Great Dying is as prolific as the state of the ecosystem we have today. The researchers put the bloom down to human activity, such as greenhouse gas emissions, deforestation, and also soil loss. Postdoctoral researcher Mr. May says, we are not there yet. There was probably a six-fold increase in carbon dioxide during the Great Dying, but with the present steep increase in carbon dioxide, we're playing catch-up pretty well, he said. Kindly support my Patreon account since YouTube has again demonetized my YouTube channel. The daily posts are five videos daily, and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support, and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below. He said, the chances of harmful microbial bloom events, along with many other deleterious facets of change, such as intense hurricanes, floods, and wildfires, also rise all the way up this steep carbon dioxide slope. The researchers say the repeated correlation of these algal blooms with mass extinction events is an alarming signal for environmental change. Let's remember, keep in mind, a few days ago I posted a video concerning the world's largest polluters and uh, half of 53% of the pollution in the world comes from China's 52 major cities. So, okay, it's China that's basically the world's biggest polluter, over 53%. Now, researchers say the repeated correlation uh, with the mass extinction event is alarming. The blooms are an integral part of ecosystems worldwide, but the effects of human-driven climate change is causing an increase which can transform freshwater habitats into dead zones that suffocate other species. This increases the severity of extinction and delays the recovery of ecosystems by millions of years. Mr. May says there are three main ingredients for this kind of toxic soup, and they're accelerating greenhouse gas emissions, high temperatures, and abundant nutrients. He says today humans are providing all three of these ingredients in abundance. Carbon dioxide and warming are the inevitable byproducts of burning fossil fuels for hundreds of years, and we have provided copious nutrients into our waterways, mostly from agriculture and logging, he says. And he says, together, this mix has led to a sharp increase in freshwater toxic blooms. This is on Express UK by Leah Stanfield. Please leave your comments. Thank you for your support.